what's up? So I've just arrived here in Lisbon, Portugal, to the Penalonga Resort, which is absolutely stunning. I'm out here for three days, gonna be spending the weekend here to play some foot golf on the golf course, which looks incredible. I've got the most insane suite, which I'm just about to show you guys around, but I'll also show you our balcony view and you can get a little glimpse at the golf course and it looks insane. But we're basically gonna be here enjoying the food. We'll be doing some of the spa stuff, getting a massage, going out on the golf course. So it's just gonna be a really, really cool, chilled few days and I'm very excited for it. It's so hot here, it's like 30 degrees. And in the UK, we're kind of like into single digits. It's getting really cold. I was starting to get all autumnal and now I've come here, I'm just like, ah sun <laughs> i'm going to uh, quickly show you around the suite that i'm staying in here for the next couple of nights and then we're probably going to head down and grab some food you can see down there that is the entrance into the suite on the left you have a toilet and then if we walk backwards you can see here we have a really nice lounge area where the guys had very kindly left me a cheese platter and also what was a golden boot with a um, couple of golf balls and flag but as you can see they have been absolutely demolished and then if we spin around here you can see we have sort of like a reading chill area with a desk and mini bar and then we carry on walking through this is the master bedroom where i'm going to be staying it looks out over onto the golf course and onto our balcony which we'll go to in a second walk-in wardrobe and then a huge bathroom shower his and her sink bath as well very nice so let's quickly take a look at the balcony if you take a look to the right you can see the rest of the hotel over here we have the swim pool this is where we're going to go and have lunch in a second and then out there is the golf course which looks absolutely stunning and then if we swing over to the left side you can see this this is the adult infinity pool which looks out again over onto the golf course and then we've just got some beds sort of like chill area going on down here. This is home for the next few days. Really looking forward to spending more time here and uh, bringing you guys along with me. Just finished off having some absolutely incredible food at Aqua here. The chef was bringing us out some sushi to try and it was just absolutely mouth-watering. I cannot explain to you. I'm gonna overlap this talking section actually with some clips from the sushi, but I think Probably my favorite was the mackerel. It was like really flavorsome. But then he also did this smoked, it's probably not the right word, kind of like barbecued fish as well, where he got the hot coals on it to like give the smoke and the smell in the room. He said it didn't really add too much to the flavor, but it was more about the sort of like aromas and the smells that it was given off that really enhanced that experience. And yeah, it was just so good. Like the best sushi I've had in a very long time. That was really nice, but we're just gonna go and chill out for a little bit. Uh, this evening we've got another nice dinner to look forward to and tomorrow is really the day that's going to be full on we've got lots of activities lots of stuff to look forward to so yeah today's kind of like just bedding in getting settled in the hotel and then tomorrow is going to just be like full steam ahead what's up so the morning after the night before uh, as i said yesterday we headed to the spices restaurant here at the hotel and it lived up to expectations it was absolutely incredible but today we've got up we've had some breakfast and we've just head down to the pool area just to soak up a little bit of sun because i've definitely lost my tan from my beef it just takes so long to get a tan and it just goes so quickly so yeah we're going to spend a couple of hours out in the sun and then this afternoon we've got foot golf with Marriott Rewards that should be quite good fun because I've never done it and I've always wanted to do it so yeah looking forward to that and then after we have a spa session with a massage as well so yeah it's gonna be a very cool chill day and then it finishes off in a roller which is uh, one of the restaurants that's here and it's again supposed to be just insane one thing that i've picked up from this hotel is the food is just outstanding looking forward to that and uh, having a glass of wine as well this evening so i'm going to chill here by the pool hopefully get a little bit of a tan and then we're going to head up this afternoon uh, ready for foot golf over here that's the main pool where the majority of people are chilling and if we swing around over there is the infinity pool see a couple of people there and I love the architecture of this I love the way the light comes through all the slats this has kind of got a couple of beds in it half shaded half sun <laughs> oh thank you I'm the guy for the bottles oh my Russian gosh fridge. here we go 
So we've just been chilling, listening to some of the Pianoist on Apple Music, really enjoying that. Vibing out here, just uh, shut my eyes, enjoying the sun. But now we've got the club sandwich arrive. Couldn't think of anything better. And they also dropped off this cocktail, which is obviously passion fruit, but I don't know what else is in it, but it's absolutely insane. And there's a fly on me. I'm gonna enjoy that before getting ready for golf. Right, so we've just got changed into some golf attire, or at least foot golf attire, and we're now gonna to head to the course, do a round of nine, so let's do this. Taking it around, we're on a second hole. Hard the first hole with James. One over at both of us, second hole. Half three again, I think. Our balls are here, flags over there. James is currently leading with a lucky last two holes, saved him. It's looking real nice up here. He's playing it on the road. It's wind behind you as well, which makes it super tricky. It's on the next tee. Okay. So I'm going to uh, have to drop shot. <laughs> yes! Here we find Alpha Male with a crap tee shot. How will he get out of the rough? in the rough. No, worse than that. I think it is like a magnet to the rough. Just loves it. Just can't get enough of it. So I'm back in there. I'm happy in there. Where are you going mate? what I want to do with it yet, so I'm just going to kick and hope. It's actually a really good shot. That's an awesome shot. Game over. Right, so we've just got back from foot golf and I'm not gonna lie, James definitely beat me then. I was absolutely shocking. To be fair, we were both pretty bad. It's a lot harder than I thought it would be. I thought I'd go in there, I'd just like smash it about and I don't kick nowhere near as far as I thought I could. But anyway, it was loads of fun. We had a great time and uh, that was part of the Marriott Rewards scheme that they do here where you can actually gain points from being a loyal member and after a while you'll collect your points up and you'll be able to spend those on unique Marriott Resort moments. And so foot golf was one of those moments. And uh, yeah, it was great. So we are running a little bit late. We're probably gonna miss our spa appointment if we don't get a move on. So I'm gonna change out of this golf attire and into something a little bit more relaxed. Maybe put some swim shorts on so we can chill out afterwards at the spa in the meditation gardens. So I'm gonna quickly change, head over there and get my massage done. So I've just got ready to go and have my treatment. I think it's called a sports recovery massage. Then after we finished off, we're gonna go and chill in the meditation gardens in the chill area here. So I'll see you guys after I've had my massage. As you can see, I'm changed again. We had a really, really lovely spa treatment at the spa a second ago and uh, we basically went and chilled out in the sort of like meditation gardens and we just zonked. So we probably spent a little bit too much time there chilling because we've now had to come back and quickly get ready to go and head to a roller, which is the restaurant here. As I said earlier, I think it's supposed to be incredible. So we are going to head there now and enjoy an evening of good food and good drink. Hiya. Hello, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you.
grabbing massive cloves of garlic with his bare fingers like this and rubbing it on his food. Is that a thing? That's what the pros do. I can confirm that James was correct. That is what you're supposed to do. Very smug, very smug over there, rubbing his garlic. It's the Spanish way, she said. Wow. with the form of uh, red fruit and wine. Wow. Here, a little bit of bean, just a tonka bean. Yes, tonka bean. Like it smells amazing. Like vanilla. Yeah. The sweetness and the aromatic parts were really interesting. That looks awesome. <laughs> that does look awesome. It smells incredible. Yeah, it's on the uh, bean. It smells I invite incredible. you to smell the cocktail first yeah. and try. <laughs> then we will taste. When you pick up the liquid, try to beat the foam also mm. to combine it. So we've just ordered in the rose. As if the cocktails weren't enough. <laughs> Did you say rose? Yeah. Did you say rose? I know, mate. Thanks, James. James again, piping up. Come on. No, it's rose. Thank you. Oh, oh. Something just tells me they're going to be good. <laughs> Something tells you. Last but not least, we've got some hot tapas arrive. It's pasta stuffed with a variation of ingredients, uh, topped with parmesan and rocket. So we're going to tuck into it and enjoy. These were just described as the chef's special pastries. And um, there's six, three each. Always makes it easier. And yeah, it's been a really nice dinner. Oh my god, it's great. It's so good. That, yeah, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. We'll have two of those. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Good afternoon. So I haven't spoke to you guys this morning because we got up super early to head out to the golf course here. And um, we had a really good round, both James and I. We haven't played in a while. And my long game was quite good. My short game was really poor. James's long, long game wasn't very good, but his short game was phenomenal. Um, so a couple of 20 foot putts, so I was very impressed. But we've come back to the hotel and got smartened up into some nice attire because we're just about to head to Villa Tamarash Utopia which is actually by the beach and uh, it's also owned by the hotel as well so hopefully um, it's not going to be too much of a drive away because I'm quite hungry but I'm looking forward to it because the food throughout has been amazing so I've got very high expectations now uh, for this afternoon so yeah we're going to go and have lunch there and then later on we're going to be heading back to the UK so yeah it's been an incredible trip so far and uh, I think this is going to be the cherry on top. just got back from the restaurant and it definitely lived up to expectations. It was such a nice afternoon and uh, the weather's just been amazing to us. We have now come back to the hotel, we've got into our flight clothes and we're going to be checking out and heading back to the UK. So I thought this would be the best time to wrap up the vlog and also if you guys want to find out any more information about the Marriott Rewards or if you want to find out any more information about the hotel then I'll leave a link for both of those in the description box below. But I hope you have enjoyed this video and and uh, I just want to say a big thank you to Penalonga for hosting me and uh, Marriott Awards because I have had an absolutely amazing weekend. So big love, 
massive thank you and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.